morning, church. Please be seated. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibajo. Our Excellency, the First Lady of Lagos State. Our real host, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, and his, and his amiable wife, Chairman of Khan Lagos State Brand, the ESCO of Khan Lagos State, heads of churches here present, the state's executive council members here present, head of service and body of permanent secretaries, invited guests, gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, praise the Lord. I want to personally appreciate the vice president for sacrificing to join us at this interdenominational service to celebrate the 58th anniversary. And why am I doing this? We were both at the Eagle Square yesterday up to midnight and I woke up like 5 a.m. this morning to fly from Abuja to be in Lagos before the Vice President. So I left Abuja around quarter to seven, thinking I should be here before him. When I got to the airport, they said the, the Vice President came in 3.15 this morning. Mr. Vice President, the Lord will continue to bless the works of your hands. I'm very glad to be here. I am amazed by this edifice I'm seeing, and I will tell you a little story. So why are we celebrating the 58th anniversary in this edifice? I traveled, I missed the commissioning of this particular edifice. So when I came back, I had, there was an email in my box, and also I had a conversation that, that said uh, Dr. W.F. Kumui was finding a way to talk to me, and I actually missed coming here. So I needed to pay back. So I told the person that is it not better we come and do our anniversary in this church. <laughs> so that I can have that singular opportunity to see this beautiful work. Dr. Kumi, God will continue to bless the works of your hands. It is my pleasure to be in your midst on a special Sunday service like this, dedicated to appreciate our Creator, God Almighty, who has made it possible for us to celebrate another independence anniversary of our dear nation. The Bible says, in everything we should give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning us. First Thessalonians 5.18 Today's Independence Anniversary Service is in fulfillment of this command, expressing our appreciation and gratitude to God for His faithfulness, goodness, and mercies over the entire citizens of this nation. Looking back, the Almighty God has been good to us as a nation. Nothing can be more appropriate to reciprocate its compassion and favors other than thanksgiving 
and songs of praise to glorify his name for his goodness and mercies over the last 58 years of being a sovereign nation under God. As we celebrate our 58 years independence anniversary, I urge us to remain steadfast and continue to uphold those values that have been passed down from our heroes who sacrificed so much to liberate us from the yokes of colonial rule. Let me use this opportunity to enjoy all men and women of God present here, not to be tired in praying for God's intervention and restoration of hope in our nation and our future. Today's occasion is also coming at a critical time in the history of a nation, when all hands must be on deck to sustain and deepen the process that will result in sustainable growth and good governance for our people. We must all get involved and work together to ensure that the potentials of this nation are fully realized for the benefit of everyone and future generations. The church, and indeed all our religious leaders, must have an important role to play, especially at this point in time, to preach the message of hope, peace, unity, integrity, and religious tolerance. You must, we must eschew all tendencies that may aggravate whatever challenges being experienced at the moment. Let me seize this opportunity of this anniversary to appreciate the General Superintendent, Deeper Christian Life Ministry, Dr. W.F. Komui, for his dedication and commitment shown towards the propagation of Christianity and the service of God over the years. For decades, you have impacted the lives of many globally through your inspirational teaching of the Word of God. You have contributed to the growth of the faith and set the pace in the transformational approach to religious activities in this country. We are happy to have gained from your wisdom. Thank you very much, sir. I also thank the church for our prayers which have been a major factor in the peace and tranquility being enjoyed in our state and the nation as a whole. I congratulate the Deeper Life Church on this magnificent edifice you have put up here. I was unable to join at the formal opening, but I'm happy I'm worshiping in this sanctuary today. As I congratulate you on this new church building, I also thank you for the good works you have done in the Bagada community. Your holistic approach to religious activities has been demonstrated in your corporate social responsibility actions, especially the construction of the Oduwale Bridge and the multi-level car park to ease traffic in this community. You have demonstrated that the church can play a lot of roles in nation building. Beyond the spiritual role of praying for the government, the church can also partner with the government to make our communities a better place. To further support the work you have done, our government in consultation with the CDAs has embarked on the construction of a network of six roads around the axis of this church and Bagada. Adiremi Akeju Street, Okun Street, Femi Kuti Street, Brown Road, Adebayin Road, Ghania Daudu Street, and then here today, Brown. This cont contract was awarded in September 2017. It's 60% completed, and God willing, will complete it first quarter 2019. <laughs> My brothers and sisters in the Lord, at this auspicious period in the history of our nation, the church, and indeed everyone who believes in the efficacy of prayer as a responsibility and patriotic duty to pray for the well-being and progress of our nation, I believe strongly that the best of our nation and our state is yet to come. Let us continue to pray, 
hope and work for a better future. For us as government, we will continue to promote fairness, justice, and everything that will make life more comfortable for our people. Thank you and God bless you all. I think you can appreciate His Excellency much more than you're doing. the Lord. You know, greatness comes in many forms. Some men, they are born with greatness. Some men, they have greatness trust on them. I think His Excellency has greatness trust on him and he has performed beyond expectation. <laughs> 